now moving on to the the peculiarities of the industrial growth why did the industrial growth in india was different when it comes to the situation which happened in great britain because the industrial growth in britain was adding a boom to the britishers to develop but when it comes to india it has been different what was the peculiarities that happened for that let us see here for the most of the time indian merchants indian business indian trade was almost under the hands of the european managing agencies only for a very long period of time afterwards even the indian businessmen who established their own businesses did not try to give competition to any of the products which are being imported from the britain especially to the products of manchester they always tried to keep their market away from the influence of the british people so they love to export their products towards china and the other countries but not towards britain so they exported towards china most of their products but the situations got changed completely in the early part of the 20th century in the wake of the japanese growth japanese developments in 1906 the indian yen which they were producing has started to be produced in a very large extent it became almost doubled in the production but the intake for china where indians are exporting to china the trade got declined what is the reason behind the decline of trade from india to china the products which are being exported to china are drastically declining so for that the japan products started to flood in to china the japanese products which are coming at very less cost into china were influencing the indian trade in the early part of the 20th century and now suddenly there was a rise in the business after the initial phase of the 20th century that is because of the world war 2 the world war 2 was actually the situation which turned indian production indian industries indian factories to a very large scale where they were able to push up their products to the large local markets you may get it out how can a world war make the local products to sell the local industries to sell their products locally in a profitable way that happened like this when the british mills were busy in producing for their products for the world war manchester which was initially the raw supplier for india the master supplier for india started to stop its supply sending it to india it was busy in sending their products only to british because of the world war the cloth the bags everything so the home market in india has been free the products which are coming from abroad are been blocked the manchester products have been stopped so then the products which are coming within india got a very wide market so in order to sell their products within the country they have got a huge opportunity to them no need to pay much taxation also because as we all know that indian products if they are sent to britain they were put extra import duties on that by the britishers so the automatically the cost of the product would increase that's how the manchester products became very popular with the lack of the tax for them here and india being put pressure to put more taxes on that so people would automatically prefer the product which is getting at low cost rather than going for high cost products and that's how the home market has increased and also during that time the swadeshi movement the use of the local products to avoid the foreign goods the ideology started to spread to all the indians in a very larger scale so people also started to get themselves motivated to use the local products so that's how the demand for the local products in the home market of india started to grow day by day into a larger scale and along with this the british gave a call to the indian factories to supply for them the jute bags in the world war the cloth in the world war the uniform in the world war the tent the tents which were to be kept in the wars the leather boots and also the horse and the mule saddles and this gave a boom for the indian industries to expand in a very larger scale the indian merchants started to establish more number of factories and three shift work has been started where 
the indian workers are made to work for long hours that's how the production has been increased because of the world war 1 the boom of the world war created a very large scale market for the indians in a very interesting and a positive manner but as the time increased on and when the world war 1 came to an end manchester was not in a position to take back the original position how it was prior to the world war 1 economically britain was completely weak and now the situation is they are facing a stiff competition from us japan and china so there is no possibility for britain to recapture its original back position so now the indian products have got their own local markets and also been flooded by the china products china has been flooded by the japanese products and manchester could not be in competition with all these things so these all things made difficult for the britishers to regain their position back in the global market and this added an advantage for the indian products indian merchants indian traders to establish their control and monopoly over the local trade on the local markets that's how indians were able to succeed only in the later part of the early 20th century but initially they were struggling very hard to establish their markets because of the pressure which was been mounting on them by the european merchants european agents and all the british officials but only after 1920s they were able to stabilize their market in the local levels if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus